All right, well, hey all you lit rippers out there. Sorry it's been a while since I've been on the internet, but lots of life has been happening here. Uh, so I wanna dive into some of that here and kind of show you uh, what I'm referring to. First things first is I no longer live in Talty, Texas. We decided to get the hell out of there. Too much rip rap moving into Talty, Texas. And uh, when you start holding up the gas station with the guns and stuff, that's uh, time to either start shooting criminals or get the hell out. And Berlin told me to get the hell out, so we got the hell out. And we moved to Lake Fork. So we've sold the Talty property, we sold the Cedar Creek House property, and we moved out here to Lake Fork. And what we did when we got out here is we discovered that uh, we could have a lot of peace and quiet. Take a look at all this peace and quiet out here. That's just gorgeous. Our property's up all the way up to the barn, all the way to that beautiful house sitting right there, 3,800 square feet of the Herring Ranch. Yes, sir, we are now on an official ranch in the state, or the country rather, of Texas. So we have all this land back in here for which we get to frantic and froller with. Other major note, uh, as you're seeing on some of the videos now, is I'm a boatless bank trash right now. Well, what does that mean? I no longer have a boat. I no longer have the bug. The bug got destroyed by a 17 year old punk ass kid on his phone. So with that being said, note to self, make sure all of you folks out there, make sure y'all have enough insurance coverage to cover your boats, your property, your fifth wheel for which we can talk about later. Anything that you're pulling on the highway, make sure you got underinsured or uninsured motorists for it. Why? Well, the great country of Texas says minimal state property coverage is guess what? $25,000. Well, hell's bells. $25,000 ain't covering nothing. Damn sure ain't gonna cover a new bass boat. So, that means my insurance had to take it in shorts. Thankfully, Progressive Insurance paid my boat off and gave me a little extra. So they sent the check, deposited it directly in my bank account, paid off the note that I had remaining on it. Hats off to Progressive. All they did was came out and took a few photos, which you're seeing now, and uh, they determined the boat was totaled. And absolutely no way of repairing it. And I w there, there wasn't no way, as you can see in all the damage here in these photos. But uh, long story short, a new boat's on order. Thanks to the COVID bullshit. Sorry for the language, but it's just frustrating. Uh, it's going to take 12 months for uh, 12 weeks for a new one to get in. So I'm boatless bank trash right now. It's kind of disappointing, but uh, what that's allowed me to do is take care of some of the chores out here on the property for burning piles, uh, tree trimming, and all that other fun stuff. Because moving that big ass fifth wheel toy hauler in between all them trees right there that you can see. I don't want it to get scratched. Everybody knows how anal I am about uh, keeping things clean and looking new. So uh, me and the chainsaw, we've had a pretty good run along with my new little Johnny tractor. That's a 1025R from John Deere. And uh, that damn thing is a workhorse. Yeah, it may be small and look like a pissed off lawnmower and it is. But uh, that little front loader on that, along with that material collection system, Man, that's just a workhorse of a machine, and I can do a whole nother video on that later. But where I'm at is in my new shop. Uh, I got it all as part of the package out here. And uh, let's take a look at what we've done with it so far real quick. And uh, you know, we'll go from there. But uh, this is where I work at five days a week. Turn the light on so y'all can see. But uh, this is the shop. Now, I have my leg sled for where I do my leg workout on, my leg presses, a pec fly that goes into this here when I'm not doing leg extension and a leverage system for I can do any and all workouts that I wanna do. And as you can see, I got plenty of the 45 pound plates to work on. And here's the most important thing. 
That's my bait wall. Uh, this is some of the remnants from the bug. Uh, till the new boat gets here, it's just gonna sit there. It's not in the way. Uh, but as you can see, I've got a lot of baits. I've got an addiction. Call it what you want. Uh, it's my crack. I, over here, I have more rod and reels from Denali and others. And more rod and reels, more baits, more baits down here in this box here that I haven't un fully unloaded yet. And then all of these tackle boxes in here, except for the ones on the bottom, all have baits. And then I come in here to my office. I have my cloud here that I still got to put back together because I work in IT. So I uh, haven't put that all back together yet. But here I have my, have my Harley Davidson flag, all baits, more baits over there, string, maps up there at the top and all my monitors and stuff that I work off on a daily basis. So this is where I stay Monday through Friday during my normal work hours down here uh, doing my IT work. So um, it's really been a journey the past couple of months. Like I said, I've sold two pieces of property, bought another one, got wrecked into, uh, damn kid hit me. I was sitting still. Left turn signal on to come into my property, and next thing you know, I'm getting pushed into my property. Kid just drove right through it. Damn near killed him, inches away from killing him. Uh, so I'm glad that didn't happen. Uh, long story short, could have been worse. Got a little whiplash, had a slight concussion. Vision was all messed up. Uh, but we survived, the kid survived, and boats can be replaced. So that's all that really matters. And uh, sucks that I'm missing the tournament season. Sucks that I'm missing spawning. Uh, but it could have been a lot worse, and I'm just very happy uh, that it didn't go that way. So anyhow, uh, this is where things are at. This is what I've been doing for the past few months. Uh, new boat will be here again in May. Uh, tentatively, that's what I'm being told, and uh, it'll be a surprise, uh, the colors and everything else. So um, lots more to come on that when it gets here. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the well wishes on Facebook and whatnot. Uh, all my fishing buddies, I know y'all are busy and can't take me and don't want me to see your spots. I get it. You greedy little turkeys. But uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, still got to catch them when you get there. So, um, uh, again, thanks to everybody for all their well wishes and uh, allowing Verlene and I the time to get acclimated. So, uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Y'all stay tuned. More videos to come. See you later.